it going everybody well guess what I'm doing I am building a cow pen so uh, finally happening we decided not to put it in the back of the property uh, for a few reasons uh, one of them being putting up a fence around that back tree line would be uh, uh, five times the amount of work as opposed to what I'm doing here and uh, during the winter it the more we think about it uh, that that would be miserable uh, this is all well this just becomes a pond and uh, it's clay so it's just it's just miserable uh, trying to get food and water back there would be really difficult and I I do not feel like running plumbing back here uh, so we decided to modify the pony uh, area or pen or whatever you want to call it so they'll have some woods uh, to get in the shade during the summer and uh, in, until they outgrow it. Let's uh, get a better view here. The, uh, the pony shelter that I built will be just fine for a couple of young calves. And uh, so that's gonna move. I'm not totally sure where I'm gonna move it to yet. I might, I might put it right about here or so, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, bought myself a gate we're gonna put the gate over there so I, I had an old uh, telephone pole that I cut into a few pieces and so we're gonna have our two posts there and uh, yeah this way during the winter instead of having to uh, cart a bunch of water and hay out to the back all we have to do is come right up here to the fence uh, with the wood chips it stays real nice in here during the winter or as, as good as we can make it anyway without without spending $20,000 uh, totally redoing everything. But uh, yeah, so it, it's gonna work out real well for us, I think. It should be fine to raise just a couple of couple of beef cows. Um, once once they're all settled in and comfortable and uh, they're ready to eat grass, we'll, we'll let them graze with the rest of them, uh, with the horses once, once, uh, once we're home. We only have two strands of hot wire, so we don't want to leave them out all day long. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's that's what I'm up to. Now, uh, I made an investment, and I'm really, really glad that I did. This, uh, in about 45 seconds, does what would take me about 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, it is a tractor supply. Yes, I do know that it's made in China. You can make fun of me if you want, but hey, for $500 plus uh, 139 for the auger, this is the only way I was gonna get myself into an auger. Uh, been looking at them on Craigslist, and uh, man, uh, for for a decent older used one, you, you know, something from the 70s or 80s that's spent its whole life outside and looks like hell, uh, people are still wanting, you know, seven, 800 bucks for them, so. 500 bucks, got a three year warranty, and for the maybe three or 400 holes that I'll ever do in my lifetime, it should last just fine. So uh, yeah, uh, so the gate, uh, I got this discounted. One, because it's white and nobody wants it. Uh, it, it, it believe it or not, it was new. Uh, so it was a 140 something dollar gate. They sold it to me for 99 bucks. And uh, yeah, it's got some damage on it, but it's just, it's just gonna get more damage on it. So I'm not <laughs> I'm not too concerned about looks. Uh, yeah, the white is kind of ugly, but whatever. 99 bucks, 10 foot gate. Uh, I'm happy about it. So uh, uh, running 12 and a half gauge uh, four barb barb wire. And uh, I'm gonna do uh, four strands of barb wire and uh, one strand of hot wire up top. So. We'll probably run hot wire down low while they're younger just so that they get used to it and they're familiar with what hot wire is and respect it. And uh, once they get older, we'll raise it up to the top. But uh, yeah, so that, that should do a, a, a fairly decent job of keeping them in. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad it's finally happening. Uh, we've been wanting to get some beef cows for a long time. And uh, so it is it is underway, folks. Uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update uh really that's about it i think i uh i replaced a bunch of pickup teeth on the baler and uh 
for once we actually have a decent garden maybe i'll get some footage of that later on but uh everything seems to be living so uh anyway guys i'm gonna get back to work here um i'd like to get more footage of using the auger but it's it's just using an auger pretty boring so uh yep anyway back to work well here's the progress for the day guys uh, i got this corner done the gates hung and uh i like to uh mount both of uh both of the hinges up and then drill a hole put a cotter pin in uh, it makes it easier for removing the gate in the future you don't have to uh have any tools so uh yeah this corner's done everything's rock solid i got the hot wire back up uh and this corner's done as well and yeah everything is level and solid as a rock so pretty happy uh, progress is going a little bit slower than I was hoping, but uh, I'd be a whole lot slower if I didn't have the post hole digger. That that thing's a real lifesaver. But uh, yeah, tomorrow all these are getting ripped out, and uh, we're gonna do that corner, that corner. Uh, hopefully, I can get the rest of my corners finished tomorrow, and uh, possibly get my T posts in. So I also wanted to give you guys a quick garden update. Uh, so finally, uh, for once, we have things in our garden that are alive. This is <laughs> this is pretty unusual. Uh, we, like I said in one of my other videos, we, we tend to kill just about every plant we touch. So uh, yeah, we're pretty happy to see things coming along. Almost all my corn is uh, is up. The hops over there, they uh, they kind of smothered out uh, two or three of my corn plants. Things are looking pretty healthy, uh, some obviously healthier than others, but uh, yeah, pretty good. So uh, uh, some kind of squash, I believe, uh, a couple a couple different kinds of squash. Uh, we have a couple gourds in here too somewhere. Um, uh, cauliflower, I think more cauliflower, uh, some type of lettuce, uh, tomato, some, those are actually wild strawberries. Um, they're really good. They're tiny, but they're really good. And then we have a uh, doggone pumpkin. A pumpkin and then a couple other squash. And we actually have, uh, there's a sunflower and there's a sunflower. So we'll see see what, what lives and what doesn't. There's some onion. I forgot about that. But uh, normally we do small gardens because uh, when we go big and they all die, <laughs> we waste a bunch of money, so uh, this is it's pretty cool to see things thriving. There's a little bit of uh, rosemary too But yeah, so there's the garden we we put up these uh, Posts with this plastic netting and it keeps the chickens out. It actually does a really good job They're not uh, smart enough to fly up and over so uh, It's worked out really good for us. But anyway, that's the garden. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a good day and uh, take good care